In this quick tip, we're going to learn how to add a data type as a custom field. For this example, I've gone ahead and added two data types, the project data type, which has a name field, and the invoice data type, which has a few fields, has paid, order number, and price. In our database, you can see that we have one invoice and we have one project. The thing that's missing though, is there's no association between the invoice and the project. So we need to add a field to the invoice where we can find which project it belongs to. We'll call this field for project, and the field type that we'll pick will be project, which is our project data type. When we create this field, it's added to our data type just like the other fields are, except now when we make a new invoice, we have a field to associate it to a project. Back in our database, we'll edit our invoice, and under for project, we'll pick the project that we want to associate it to. Now we've set up the relationship for this invoice to match to a project. In just a short amount of time, you can do so many complex things by associating data types together. That's it for this quick tip. For more, be sure to check out bubble.io slash academy.